Hello guys, my name is Steve. I'm a liquid-based support engineer at Dadical, and today we're going to cover how to create a change log. Uh, there are two ways to create a change log. Uh, you can create it manually or you can have liquid-based generated for you. So let's see how we can achieve that. To manually create a change log um, XML format, create a new text file. I'm going to go to new text document and um, let's call it my change log and let's make it an XML format so the extension should be XML now in order to create it manually we're gonna have to open it and um, what we're gonna do now we're gonna go to our website um, at this address, liquidbase.org forward slash get underscore started forward slash quick start underscore lb.html. And we're going to look at this, um, those instructions over here. We're going to copy this um, template over here and paste it in our change log. Now, in order for us to add another change set, we can go back to that web page and just follow those instructions and copy paste that change set. And we're going to add it right over here. And now we have a change set. And of course, if you want to deploy that change set, you can run liquid-based updates. So that's it for uh, creating your change log manually. Uh, this is of course an XML format. Uh, if you choose um, to have Liquibase doing it for you, you can do it with the Liquibase generate change log option, uh, which I'll, I'll show you right now. So uh, let's remove that XML and open our Liquibase.properties uh, configuration file for this project. So as you can see, I have a few properties over here that I already specified so I don't have to include them in my command line. Uh, one of them is the changelog file and um, I decided to call it my changelog.xml. Uh, so when I run my command liquidbase generate changelog, it will create a file called this name uh, .xml format. Uh, let's see how it's being done. So uh, when I open my command line from that folder, from my project folder, I'm going to run liquid-based change log. And as you can see, now I have this file called mychangelog.xml. Um, let's open it up. And as you can see, uh, this is my current database and uh, it's represented by changes. And one of my change for that object um, department table is indeed um, that change set. Now, um, the generate change log can generate an XML format. It could generate change um, JSON file or um, SQL or uh, YAML. Um, all you need to do for this example, we can just change this extension over here. Um, if we call it YAML and save this and rerun this command, you'll notice that now we have a YAML file. We can open it up and you'll see that this is a changelog.yaml um, format. Thank you for watching.